What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have My Hero Academia Todoroki. So I have another Todoroki one that's just like a portrait of him, but this one it's like more of his body and we've got some ice and fire and stuff going on. So landscape orientation page. And we're gonna start in top half of our page with his right eyelid. So we're just gonna start with a diagonal line, just up here. Go diagonal across like so so that's the top eyelid and then the bottom eyelid is going to come down like this curve more curvy sort of line there now we don't go the whole way because Todoroki has like fringe covering his 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 eyes and stuff so you just add in like some of his fringe just here. Instead of the rest of his eye, you just add like a hair spike, just like that. So then in there, his iris curves around like so. And then his pupil, just here. So he's frowning heavy. We can only see sort of half of his pupil and his iris. So then his eyebrow, so comes, ticks up here, right along that top eyelid line. So it comes up like so, to a point, goes underneath his hair here again. So like hair goes up that way. And then we do just a section for the color of his eyebrow, just here, but it gets skinnier as we go up to the top. Just up to there. And we may add an eyelid line just here. And if you want, you could like thicken up the eye, this top eyelid here as well. Just make the line a bit darker. Just make it stand out a bit more, really. So his head is kind of a little bit til tilted. So the other eye is up, kind of up here a little bit. So it's like not directly across. So it's like if we were drawing a head straight straight forward, it'd be like here, but we're just gonna come up a tiny little bit. So just here and then up like a tiny, tiny little bit, just there. So just diagonal up slightly from it. And then this is gonna come up again. that and then we'll bring it diagonal back down to here like so and then curve it underneath here and boom just to there and his iris again semicircle so this goes under some fringe but I'll draw it in anyway and you can erase it with your pen with your rubber or your eraser, sorry. We call them rubbers. Pupil just there. And then the eyebrow. Same sort of thing, frowning real heavy. So it comes up right close to his eyelid just there. And you might have another section of it just here that you can color it in tiny though real skinny eyebrows and then there might be an eyelid line just there so his nose just like a line coming down like so with maybe another hatching line just there and then the tip of his nose diagonal just like that so he's real serious in this so we've got like kind of a downturned kind of mouth but it kind of curves around kind of like a smile but it's like a flat sort of smile that's the best way to explain it so say just underneath his eye here kind of starts there and then it's going to come around like 
like so. And then there's a gap and then it comes across to about there. There might be a line just around his eyes, just there, kind of a stress line or a mark, just a wrinkle or something, just there. And then his jaw, so coming down right beside his eye here, we're gonna do a line down like so. And then it'll come down to his chin, which is just down here, so a real sort of pointy chin. So, so this jaw is across from his nose, just here. So that's where you turn, and then you bring it down to his chin, just there. And then on this side, we'll bring it up like so. To about there. And then go up towards his ear. So, so then the rest of his hair and his ears, right? So, say like the rest of that fringe. So it'll come, we'll have a spike, say here, and it will go up and around like this. And in here, we'll have his ear. So we'll go down, like so, just like that. And then, some lines inside. Kind of like that. And then we have like some more hairlines just here and some more fringe that comes right across his face. So like down to like here. Spikes back. And then this one comes, is this the one that comes right across his eye? So it's gonna go across that eye down into there. And then it will go back up. Like so. And if you want then you can rub out or get rid of, erase those lines inside. So then the rest of his fringe, so we'll go sit this way with a line, like so. And then, and then we'll bring it down past his eye just here. Like so. And it kind of curves back this way then, like that. And then we can see some of his other ear just in here. So of course then we have Todoroki's scar coming around his eye. So let's see. So we have, that's his eyebrow and then, yeah. So it like comes down around here. So kind of a bumping line. If you wanted to do it just with the color, you could, but I'll just draw it in just so you can see where it is. So it comes down around this hairy area under his fringe up around here, up into his ear. And of course all in there is brown. Okay, so the rest of his hair. So this curves up like so. And so we have dark side and a light side and the hair kind of grows down and kind of across this way. So the top of his head is like right up here, right at the top of my page, right? Just there. And this hair is going to grow that way, and this hair will come down. So we'll do the hair that comes down first. So it kind of from behind his ear, so it comes out here, spikes like this. And then it kind of goes up like so, like that. Cross 
So it's kind of bumping each time. And then we'll bring it further across to a spike out there. Spikes back in. And then we'll bring it down like so. And then every now and then you'll have a hair spike sticking out like this. And then we go down. And this is a spike. And then we bring it down. Spike. Like so. And then this will spike here. Another hair spike here. Back in to here. And then a couple more. One small one. And then maybe a little bit just going into his ear, just there. So now we have the line that separates the sort of red area from the gray area. So we have here, spiking there. Not so many hair lines just there. Spike here, spike back. This is going to come down. Real big long one, this one. Like that. And then we bring it back up. Back down, back in. Spiking every now and then. All the way down to his fringe. Like so. And then maybe another spike. And then down to there. And then we just add some texture lines and some hair lines, just like, you know, like this kind of thing. Just to describe his hair a bit better. <clears throat> Don't have to do too much. Just there, maybe like a couple over here. Like that. Some there, some here. Okay, so I think that he's got those um, straps around his shoulders. So we'll draw those first. I guess. Well, we'll draw we'll draw his collar first, actually. So coming out from his ear, we have like a line for his collar just there, like so. And then the other side comes out from his jaw, like that. So his collar's right up on his face, and then it comes down like so. And in this way. And this side will kind of bump out a little bit more. So it'll like bump out like this. Come down like so. And then bump out again. And come down towards, say, here. So that collar then. So it has an inside sort of line, sort of like up, cross, up again, and then like goes in under his jaw, just there. And then there's like a dark shadow all in here. But it goes behind a silver sort of plate that's in front of his neck, just here. So, and this has lines on it, just here. And the other side of his collar then, come up, same way, kind of like a step. Up like that. And then underneath, it's like an arrow pointing down. Just this way. And then that shadow is just in here. So that's all dark black. And there might be some hatching just sort of here on his neck and maybe a bit of a shadow over here. So on that collar, he has like white areas. So I don't know what they are, but they're like, I don't know, no idea. So they're like 
coming down from the collar curves around here maybe they're like vents or something on the collar i'm not sure though and then this comes to here kind of a bit longer it's like they're white inside whatever they are like so and then something similar over here but they're smaller so there's like one just here on the bottom there's three on each side one in the middle and then one here so Say like the line for his torso, so we can do that down the middle first. So it kind of like bumps around here, bumps around his chest. So this is like the middle of his body. Bumps around his chest line, just there, and then like it goes down this way. So that's like the middle of his uniform. Okay, so that's like where the center body is so it's kind of tilted a little bit and then those straps wrap around his shoulders and the back of his neck right so it's going to wrap curve this way first like so and this is going to wrap around underneath his armpit which is just in here okay and the other one a bit smaller and it just curves wraps around goes underneath his armpit because this side is is like turned away from us so right there right. and then the side of his body is here like so and the side of his body so like that's a line for his chest and then sort of ribs maybe underneath his tracksuit or his uniform top just there and then this bumps out like so so you'll notice this one is slightly higher because his body's tilted this way just like the eye so everything's kind of tilted slightly just a little bit and then so this is with the top of his belt just here so it kind of bumps across every now and then with different sections like this. But if you wanted, you could just do a straight belt. You don't have to do a bumpy one. It's just he's got lots of different buckles and things. So now we'll just add some extra lines that show folds in his clothes. So like, comes down to there. Here, up, one up and around. Some just underneath his chest area, just here. Make into there. Another line there. Coming across like so. Make into there. Maybe some coming across here as well. So, all right, so we'll finish that belt. So it's like, it comes down just off my page there along the bottom. And this side is slightly higher up so we can see a bit more of it. So it comes into there and then his pants will go off that way. And then those buckles. So we've got like different sections. So like, that's one section. Like that. Next section, just here. Like so. Next section is like in here. Something like that. Another one. And the last one. And then there's all little details inside. So this curves around. Down into there. Lines on that. Same over this side. Give it an edge. And then lines like that. And there's some bolts on that one, bolt there, like a bolt maybe there. And there's something like a circle or something on the bottom of that one. And then another rectangle 
inside there. Okay, so we can finish those straps. So they're kind of metal leather with like metal on top. So kind of follows that same sort of snaking sort of shape here. Goes underneath his arm. This one's pretty similar. So like comes down, follows that shape again. Like so, goes in sort of behind his ear there. And there's like one, two, three, four metal plates on it. So just here. One, two, following the edge, three, and the fourth one like maybe touches right at the edge here. Right, so we just have to bring them off the edge, just diagonal that way. This one here, this one here, this one goes up into there, there. And you could give them an edge line if you wanted, just to give them like a bit of 3D shape. And then this comes back like so. We do the same sort of thing again. So one, two, three, and the last one we can barely see kind of down in here, four. So this one comes across like so, the top of that one's there. Bottom of it, and top of it. And if you want, you can give them a sort of an edge. Not necessary if you don't want to, of course. But I will just do it anyway. Okay. So his arm, shoulder, comes down like so. Shoulder comes down that way. The other shoulder is kind of so his body is like turned that way, right? So that's why this side of his chest is wider than this side. Okay. So his body's kind of turned away. So it's kind of like a three quarter sort of pose on his body. This side is smaller. You can see less of it. So his shoulder then, we can see less of that. So it's kind of like this. This one's much wider. And this one will come to about there. And then we can see his sleeve. It's like rolled up. Just there. And on the other side, so we'll go, we'll finish this arm, sure, we'll do this whole arm. So it like goes down like so, bumping every now and then for bumps on his clothing. And then this is gonna curve around, up like that, around. His sleeve is rolled up here too. So this kind of comes across like so. And then his bicep, just there goes up into that part of his clothes. And then there might be like a phone line coming down there. And maybe one in here. And might go up around his shoulder, just there. So his elbow sticks out here, comes down there. And his forearm, just there. And then the inside line for his forearm with some hatching on it, just there. And right, so the other arm, so right, hit the top of his forearm comes out here, and then it'll go down like so. Okay, and this is where all the ice starts, and the bottom come out like that. And then it will go in to about there. Right? And there's ice on the bottom part as well, but we've got some like lines for his inner arm just here. So like some hatching and stuff like that. So this arm's kind of going down here. So it goes like 
the length nearly to the bottom of my page. So it's like his the bottom of his fingers are probably like in line with his belt just here. This angle is way lower because he's kind of tilted this way. So so we'll just I'll just draw over the ice that's here, I guess, and then I'll um erase it later on. So we'll go we'll go just diagonal this way. Right? Towards his wrist. Right? Then there's like a and like an ice block on his arm somewhere here. So it's like just growing onto his arm, sort of. Just like here. Right, and then you can erase this line of his arm because you can't see it because the ice is kind of covering it. So then the bottom of his hand then is down here. So it kind of comes down like this. So his hand is like flopping sort of down like this. So the bottom of his hand goes there. And then this is going to meet his thumb, which comes down even further. So it's going to go all the way down. So his thumb is in line, like I said, with the bottom of his belt here. So it's gonna go down like so. And there's like a little block of ice on his thumb as well. So like this comes down like that. Kind of like a little triangle of ice just here. And then the bottom of his thumb curves around. Right, so that's how far we've gone down now. So this curves around here, goes up, out. You might have like a line for thumbnail just there. And then this will go out and back up this way. Like there somewhere, and then a line for his knuckle just there. I know it looks like longer than you would expect, but this is how far down the arm actually goes, okay? So then we do a diagonal line like this. And then we see some fingers. So we can see his index finger. So we go like so. And then it kind of curves around. here up around his finger to there his fingernail might be like here and then we're going to bring it out like so and then up into ice basically so it's going to go to here and then up to like ice like there Might be some lines, just some skin lines kind of on his finger just here as well. And we can see some fingers just kind of hanging down here as well. So just like some lines just inside here between his index and his thumb. Just to show those other fingers that are hanging on the other side. And like the tips of them might be here. And his little finger just kind of dangling down here. Something like that. Right, so the top of his arm has like an iceberg on it, basically like a big load of ice. So, like it starts right here, so it kind of it's got three main sort of peaks. So but you can have four or five if you want to. Like it's totally up to you. This one comes up. You can add less, more. 
So like that's one. So it comes down like here. It goes back up. Like this. And comes down the other side, zigzagging, sort of going down. All the way down to like there, and then the next peak comes up this way. there and then it's going to come down the side and then it's going to go up across down out across there and then there's all sort of cracks and like darker areas inside here and the bottom will come down on his arm as well so it'll like come down all across his arm, sort of a zigzag, sort of wavy line, just like that. This is like so. Uh, this comes down to here, comes down right to his thumb, back up. Over there, back down to here, and off to there. And right, yeah, there, then there's some like shadow areas, some like darker areas in it, like this. So these would be like dark ice blue color if you were coloring in, inside here. Like all in here, more cracks like here. some on the bottom here too. We'll make a big one here. You're just going for kind of like a mountain of ice kind of effect. Like that. And then there might be like some in the air and stuff, you know, just like around them. Uh, not a lot, but you know, every now and then. Just some. So, kind of like rocks, you know. Like that. And then, of course, there's like fire all over here. So, simplest way to draw fire, I guess. Just, so around his arm, you can kind of see through it, right? So, um, the easiest way to do it is like just with orange and yellow sort of color. But uh, I'll draw the shapes and you, you can colour it in then. So like here. Do, do, like so. So all these spiking sort of Kind of letting your hand sort of guide you. you know, all up in there. Make some flames here. And so light. Yeah, some like brighter areas inside here.
spiking, always trying to give it this sort of spiking feel, I guess, is the best way I can describe it. And maybe this would come back in somewhere like up here. yellow sort of brighter area inside So basically all in there is like orange and sort of red. And that's like ice blue and stuff. So there you go. I know it's a tricky one, but uh, I wanted to do one with um, both of his sort of powers going instead of just a portrait of him like I have done already. Hope it was helpful anyway and it wasn't too difficult. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.